Hello there folks, my name is Spooks, and I saw Paws of Fury, The Legend of Hank, and it was bad. Now look, I don't want to be too harsh on this movie as the production history for this movie and the time it took to get this thing released to the public in theaters was absolutely monotonous and I'm very happy that the film has now finally been able to see the light of day and all the hard work into getting this movie released it has finally paid off seemingly as well. The whole point of making a movie is for it to be released into the public to pe for people to see it i just wish that the actual movie was much better because what we got was just a really bad generic kids movie sadly first things first the animation is not that bad there are times where they use different mediums like 2d animation and a style that emulates a comic book pattern uh to, for flashbacks and to start off the movie which all looked really solid and the just typical computer animation honestly isn't that bad either. The designs are really well done. Everything moves really nice. It's got a decent look to it. And the Looney Tunes style zip and energy to it adds to some of the action scenes as they can be um, really fun and entertaining as well. This movie can also offer some actually funny jokes, some of which caught me off guard for how clever and completely random in the best way possible they could be. As the film offers some fourth wall breaks that felt very natural and honestly just hilarious and really made me laugh out loud. And honestly, some of these fourth wall breaks reminded me a lot of chowder in a way as like that show once again they didn't feel forced or out of place it felt natural and just completely came out of nowhere and just was really funny but it's not just those jokes that got a laugh out of me some of the slapstick and even some of the one-liners got a decent chuckle and maybe even laugh out loud here and there there was um some talented jokes spread throughout the film that i wish the film had more of, but we'll get to the other jokes the majority of the movie has a bit later. I even liked a couple of the characters, the two standouts being the George Takei cat who offered some of the funniest jokes in the movie, and Samuel Jackson as the samurai mentor, mainly due to Samuel Jackson's performance uh, bringing a lot of life and personality to the character. He really made the most out of it. However, that is where all of my positives end with this movie, as I do have a lot of issues with it. First off, as many of you people probably weren't aware of, this is actually somewhat of an animated remake of sorts of the 1970s R-rated Mel Brooks comedy Blazing Saddles. So much so that earlier into this film's production when it was first announced, the original title of this movie was Blazing Samurai. The movie even opens with a song using the same name, Blazing Samurai, which honestly is a much better title than Pause of Fury, but I digress. Now, I'm pretty sure having said that, you all can see the biggest problem here, and that is this is a somewhat remake of a 1970s R-rated Mel Brooks comedy that was turned into an animated kids film with talking animals. Since this is aimed for a much, much, much younger audience, it takes away the bite and the wit and the charm of the Mel Brooks comedy. Now, I haven't seen it in its entirety. In fact, I've only seen a couple clips here and there. And while I will admit it hasn't really aged the best, I cannot deny that there were certain clips and jokes that I've seen from it that did get a laugh out of me here and there. But once again, the problem here is that since this is aiming for a younger audience, it can't really go as far with its humor and takes away from the cleverness and the wit that Blazing Saddles. This results in the film to turn from a parody of Western films to a generic animated kids film about talking animals living in the world of samurais. It doesn't really do a good job of parodying samurai films. It's 
a pretty generic samurai story at best and while some of the jokes did get a good laugh out of me a lot of them fell flat with the majority of them just being cheap slapstick gags toilet humor and a surprising amount of pop cultural references to west side story and star wars for some reason i don't know it, it really felt out of place and unnecessary and worse not funny a lot of this movie is just not funny barely anything outside of the couple jokes that i did laugh at did not land for me the characters in here are also either really bland annoying or even unlikable as the main character hank while he does start off a bit generic but tolerable i guess as the movie would go on the glory and fame of being a samurai goes to his head and he starts to become an unlikable jerk wad to the point of even becoming somewhat of an egomaniac that i couldn't really tolerate as the movie would focus more on him honestly i just kind of wanted him to get beaten up uh the more i saw him on screen the villain is just ricky gervais but a cat and just not funny and evil so basically a lamer version of his character from muppets most wanted and everyone else in the movie is either completely pointless and bland or a dumb comic relief and those dumb comic reliefs fail at their job because they are not funny and lastly, I do have some gripes with the animation. Now, I don't want to shame or discredit any of the work the actual animators had to do when working on this movie. As overall, it is a decent looking movie and they clearly did the best that they could. But my problem is that it does feel like it's holding held back by the cheap budget of the film as this reportedly only costed 45 million dollars to make which is obscenely cheap for an animated film and given the many strengths uh the film showed with its animation like with some of the action scenes and uses of different mediums here and there i think if they were given a bigger budget it would allow them to have much better resources to fully amplify the animation to its best degree because what we have here while not terrible is just decent at best so overall pause of fury the legend of hank was just bad a pretty bad animated kids film which i honestly feel really sad saying it as i do know that it was a passion project for many people and the length it took to get this film released to the public was exhausting and i'm sure everyone who worked on it is finally glad that the film came out and honestly i'm even glad that the film has finally been released to theaters and i'm certain that the work done here was filled with a lot of talented people who wanted to get it out I just wish the actual movie was a lot better. There are good elements here, like the animation in some aspects, some likable characters, and even a decent amount of jokes that did make me laugh out loud at times. But overall, it can't save the fact that this is just a pretty bad animated film. The jokes, for the most part, fall flat. It is a kidified version of blazing saddles which takes away what made that film so good the characters aren't that interesting for the most part and the animation definitely feels held back i cannot really recommend going check to check this out in the theater as if you wanted to see a good hilarious martial arts comedy that also coincidentally stars michelle yo for the whole family to see i would honestly tell you to just go watch minions 2 again as that was funnier and more entertaining than this movie once again i do really feel bad about saying these things as there are elements that could have made this movie a lot better it just was that it was severely tarnished by the elements that hindered this movie at least the film came out but it didn't make me a fan sadly 
So those are my thoughts on Pause of Fury, The Legend of Hank. What did you all think of it if you've seen it? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Comment down below and let me know. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you like this channel, hit the subscribe button. Follow me on all those social media links at the end of the video. And until next time, everyone, stay sharp. Hong Kong Fui, number one super guy. Hong Kong Fui, quicker than the human eye.